Welcome to Excise and Licenses online training videos. This video will show you how to submit an entity amendment application to update the general contact information for a marijuana business license. And the general contact information is the information that is available to the public. So just make sure that when you're updating the contact information, this amendment update is for general contact information that is available to the public. All right, what you'll wanna do is you want to go to Denver's Permitting and Licensing Center, and you'll wanna log in using the email and password that you use to transition all of your licenses online. And so you'll enter in your email and your password, and then you'll click on log login. And then here you are going to go to business, short-term rental, and occupational licensing, and you are gonna be managing the application. So you're gonna click on renew or manage. And then here on my records, you're going to find the entity name that you want to update. And that is here, the entity record, it's the entity registration, and you wanna make sure that it's the entity name that you need to update. And so over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna click on amendment. And then here for today's example, we're gonna update the general business contact information. That's different than the update contact information. The update contact information is the information that the city uses to contact the license owners. And we need that, and that's not available to the public. So for the general business contact information here, that is where, if somebody from the public wants to contact the company, they can get that information from us via this general business contact information. So you'll want to make sure that you're not using a personal phone number or email unless you do want that. But again, just know this is for the public to have access to that contact information. So you'll select that button and you'll click on continue application. And then here, the page is just telling you what you could do for an entity amendment, uh, the three things that you could do for that. And then it tells you what kind of documents are required for any of the um, updates that you're going to do. For updating the general contact information, if there are no documents required. And then you'll click on continue application. And then here, it's asking you what kind of amendment are you doing for your um, entity today? You can do all three types of in amendments at the same time, but for today's example, we're just updating the general contact information. So you'll leave the first two questions, you'll answer no, and then the third question, you will answer yes, and then click on continue application. And then here, it's giving you the general contact information that you had provided before, but you decide that you still want the email address to be the same, but you wanna update the phone number to a different phone number for the public to be able to have access to. And so you'll update that phone number and leave the email the same, or you can update both at the same time. And then you'll click on continue application. And then here is your chance to review the information that you put in. It's asking you again, what type of uh, amendment did you do today? And we were just saying yes to updating the contact information. And then it's telling you what you updated the new phone number to and what you have the email to. If you need to edit any of this, you would edit and go back to the application and, so, and correct that. But for this, we are going to say everything looks good. And then you'll read this oath of application. And then you'll check on that box. And then you will click on continue application. And then now that request to update that general contact information has been submitted to Excise and Licenses. And that concludes this video for today. I'd like to thank you for watching this Denver Excise and Licenses video. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.